Does anyone else have cats that are addicted to spider plants? Ooh, you like the snow puff? She's feeling really loopy. Oh, honey. Aww. Poor baby. Hi, everyone. It's Colleen and Sissy from the Traveling Kittens. And it's been a couple weeks, so I wanted to give a little bit of an update. The videos that are coming to you today have been filmed over the last few weeks. Miss Sissy here had oral surgery, and she came through it really, really well. And she's feeling much better now, which is great. And then just some from Christmas and the snow. And the cats also <laughs> have discovered they love spider plants. And my mom has spider plants, and they were just attacking it. And I explained in the video, that a lot of cats are attracted to them and it doesn't harm them, but it can act like opium for kitties and they can get addicted to it. So I don't know, hopefully I don't have any rehab situations for the kittens. They love their spider plants. And just a little quick update. We've been trying to figure out where we're going to go next. And we've been here for two and a half months in Washington and we want to try to get away during the rainy wet season as much as we can. I wanted to do Hawaii, but we can't go until their rabies antibody test comes back. And that, uh, probably another few weeks for that. So we are going to attempt to go to Florida next Saturday. My son's going to come with us and we're going to go visit my friend Paula, which I'm so excited about and spend a couple weeks in Miami Beach. I do have a condo on the beach booked. We're bringing the cats, so it'll be fun and exciting. And my friend John will be coming down as well from New Jersey to visit. And then we'll go see our friend Renee for a couple days in Key West. So we'll spend a few days there. I don't know if we'll be there any longer. I haven't decided, I bought a one-way ticket, so we still don't know it, when we're gonna be coming back. That does not look like a happy sissy. Aw, little sissy has to go to the vet today to get her teeth cleaned. So that means going under anesthesia and uh, something else done too. Aw, poor little thing. She couldn't eat anything this morning, which was the worst thing in the world for her. I felt so bad. I know she's starving. So we've got about a 35 minute drive to get to the vet and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I just told Sissy that she was just gonna be taking a nice little nap at the vet's. When she gets up, she'll have lots of good pain meds. Poor little girl. It's so hard. This whole thing with putting cats under to do their teeth. I've never done it and she's seven and a half and, um, but her teeth are to the point where not only do they need to be cleaned, but she has to have a tooth pulled. She actually is missing half of her front, one of her teeth here, like right there. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it chopped in half. So this little girl just needs a little more care. And she'll get taken care of. We're back at North Shore Vets in Bellingham on this um, rainy, gloomy day which has been very typical here, I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to hope for the best that everything goes really well for Sissy. Little Miss Sissy, still really groggy from her mouth surgery. Poor little thing. Yeah, this was pretty major. A lot of things, two extractions. Yep, $700 later, folks. You know, people need to know if they're gonna get a pet, this stuff, you know. They'd cost money. Well, hopefully she'll feel better. Little Miss Sissy after her surgery, she just ate a whole can of food she was starving. Aww. 
He's feeling really loopy. Oh, honey. Aww. Poor baby. Yeah. <laughs> you get lots of extra cuddles, aren't you? This is the day after Sissy's dental surgery. Oh my goodness, you guys. Unless the drugs are still wearing off, this just seems like a different cat. I mean, the vet said she may have a little bit more of a spring in her step, depending on how much the her teeth were bother bothering her. But she had two extracted. And I'm not kidding, she seems so much better. Like she's so happier and just sweet and loving. So I don't know. It's you know, cats can't tell you if they're hurting, and I wonder how much her teeth were hurting her. It makes me feel bad. But she's doing really, really well. Like the snow, Bob? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna go play in it? have cats that are addicted to spider plants oh these guys <laughs> we had no idea why the cats <laughs> kept going after my mom's spider plants and because i didn't i've never had any and we just looked it up and it's like a hallucinogenic it's it has an effect like opium to cats it's not dangerous but my cats are addicted <laughs> Sissy might have to go to rehab. <laughs> Spider flat cat rehab. <laughs> Sissy! Sissy!